Hello YouTube! I'm here with my first cosplay review of 2020. I'm super super excited about this. I pre-ordered this cosplay in like October of 2019 I think and it just got here last night. I'm so 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 excited about it so I can't wait to show it to you guys. The cosplay that I will be unboxing and reviewing today is Female Violet from Fire Emblem Three Houses from the Storm Me Costumes. So here it is. The bag is definitely disturbed because I was so excited last night I immediately ripped it out and tried it all on because I was too excited and I could not wait for the morning to make this video. Um, but here it is. I'm so excited. Um, one thing before I get into the costume, I ordered a size medium. I pre-ordered it. Um, I got the regular shipping option and uh, yeah, it shipped like right before Christmas I think and it just got in last night which was January 8th. So it took a little while to come in, but not too bad. I also didn't pay for the faster shipping option because I don't care about that. Um, but here we are. First thing I noticed when I took this out that I was kind of confused about was that this costume is for me costumes, but the bag here says cosplay.fm and I don't know what that is. I tried searching for it and I didn't really come up with anything besides an Amazon store. So I don't know if Me Costumes is just reselling something from them. I know they do have some things on their website that's like costumes made by other production places that they sell. So I, I don't remember seeing that this was made by someone else, but maybe it is. Maybe Me Costumes also owns this place. I do not know, but it doesn't say Me Costumes on the bag. I will just take all of this out and show you everything piece by piece. Okay, so the first part is this. This is the top. It is a crop top here, but it has like the back. I actually thought this was the back of the coat at first before I looked closer at the pictures, like reference images. It does kind of look like it's underneath the coat. So it's like a butt cape skirt thing. Um, and here is a little Velcro thing in the middle there. And then inside there is some places for some invisible straps to hold this up, which it did come with. Um, when I tried this on last night, I did feel the chest on this was a little bit big and I don't really have a small chest but I don't have like super giant boobs either but it did feel kind of very open on the top part um, but when I put on a push-up bra then it fit fine so if that's something sizing wise that is relevant to you now you have that information. Over that we have the jacket here this also says cosplay.fm on the tag there and here is the back with the design. I really like the coat. I like the kind of leather armor pieces. They're not made of real leather. It's, I don't know what this material is called, but it's not real leather, but it is like thick and sturdy. And it does keep the shape very well. Um, I do kind of wish there was something in the collar to kind of attach it in place. Cause as I was wearing it, it kind of was sliding back and not staying where it was supposed to stay. I will show you that better when I try it on so you can see it because it's kind of hard to explain. But I wish there was something in here to hold these pieces in their spot. But also that is something I could easily add in so I will probably do that before I wear this to Katsukon because like posing for photos around here or doing a photo shoot or something, it's easy to fix that. But when I'm like at a convention walking around, a lot of times things that aren't specifically made to stay in place, I forget to fix them before someone takes a photo of me. And then I get the photos back and I'm like, oh, I wish I fixed that thing. <laughs> But yeah, the coat is nice. It's got the stupid Byleth sleeves. There's so much about this cosplay that I'm gonna insult and call stupid, which has nothing to do with the cosplay itself. It's actually very well made, but it's just about the character design. There were so many choices that I look at it and I'm like, why did you do this to this character? The last piece of regular clothing is these shorts. And oh my God, are these booty shorts? <laughs> These really, like, you don't see the butt at all because it's got, like, the long coat. But, like, if you pull it aside, if you look at the butt, it's like, this is booty short territory. Um, it does have that weird little thing that Byleth shorts have, and this is kind of like a invisible, stretchy, elastic thing there, so it does stay up there. Um, but one thing that made me super happy is there's pockets on it. I never, never expect pockets on cosplays, and this has, like, an actual pocket in the butt there, um, which could definitely like fit my phone in it or maybe like a small wallet. I have like a big one so it wouldn't fit, but 
like a small wallet or like a maybe hotel key card or something. Like it's a good pocket there. Over the top, we have this corset piece here. Um, and it does lace up all the way in the back. And if you need to untie it and adjust it, you can. But the side unzips, so it's easy to get in and out of it. Uh, this would be probably the only part that I would complain about. But like I said, it would be more of an issue with game design, character design, than it is an issue of the costume. But because this corset is made in a way where there's like the the midriff cutout thing, like corsets work by squeezing in all of your, your skin and your body all into the middle. But with the opening there, it just squeezes everything out there and you kind of, no matter how flat your stomach is, because I don't have like a big stomach, I have a flat stomach, but no matter how flat it is, it kind of looks like you have a little muffin top pushed out right there, um, which doesn't have to do really with the costume, it's more about like just the way that corsets work and real people bodies and not anime character bodies. Um, but it is something that's easy enough to pose around and like if you pose the right way it doesn't look like there's anything there. It's more like when you're relaxed and kind of slouching or whatever. Right here is the little neck collar thing. Um, it has buttons on the front but they are not real buttons but the back does have real buttons that button up. And then this little dude I don't know what that's called, but the gold emblem thingy on Byleth's outfit is a kind of plasticky material with the tassel under it. And then this has Velcro on the back and that's with the Velcro on the top. This Velcros to it so it stays in place, which is very nice because it won't wiggle around or get caught or anything. Here are the armor pieces. There's a bunch of them. These are wrist armor. And all of these have Velcro on the inside so you can take them off and adjust them. I could just slide them on my arms and that was fine. But there's two, one for each arm. And then there is the elbow guard pieces, which have a elasticated band on the inside. And then the last piece is the knee armor, which just like the elbows has this elastic. And these are actually really nice. I think these would look really good with a little bit of weathering paint, which I might do just to like give it some shadows and so the lines stand out more. But like, they were very comfortable to wear, but they're like, I like the material. It's like shiny, so it looks like metal. And they're pretty like hard and sturdy. They're not like weak little like pieces of just plain fabric or something. And then this bag right here, this has the tights and also the invisible straps for the top in it. This is just some plain old invisible straps that go on the top. I don't really need to take these out and show them, but they just hook in and then there you go, some straps. Here is the tights. I'll leave this kind of stretched on here so you can see like the pattern design in it, but you'll see it better when I try it on because it just looks black here. Uh, but yeah, those is the tights and that is everything that came in the cosplay. So. The only things really missing is the belt with the little knife on it, which I'm planning to make later, and a wig, which I'll show you the wig I got. It was not with this, but I'll still show it to you. And what else? If you wanted the Sword of the Creator or other weapon that would not come with this. But basically everything you need for the outfit is here in this. Oh, also boots. Boots it didn't come with but I think she just wears plain like knee-high boots that are black. I don't think they're special shoes or anything. So this here is the wig that I got. It is from Epic Cosplay Wigs. It's their Hestia wig. I think the shade was navy blue or dark blue or something. I don't remember what the shade was called, but I'll link the wig in the costume in the description of this video. But I love like the curls. It feels like the perfect weight and like length for Byla's hair. I'll probably trim the bangs up a little bit before I try everything on, but there's everything. Meow. What? What are you meowing about down there? 
Will you cosplay with me? Will you be both petting the kitties around the monastery with me? Okay. Yay, that was everything that came in this cosplay. I'll go jump out of here and try everything on so you can all see it together. I'll back up my camera so you can see the full body, whole view of everything. Here I am, Professor Violet. I'm so excited. You can see already here, this is what the coat does, where like, it should be there. Like I wish there was just like, like a button or like a little piece of Velcro or something that would hold those things right there. Cause otherwise they, they slide back like that. Which like when the hair's forward, you don't really notice. But still, that would be a very easy thing for me to add in. It also might be like, this costume's gonna sit differently on every person that wears it. So it could be good to have that as something you do yourself because if like you, it sits there or up there, like different body sizes. I gave my wig the tiniest little trim around the middle there just so I could see, but here we are. Yay. I'll back you up so you can see more of me. The camera's too tall. And you can kind of see like if I'm, it doesn't really look like much, but like, like with posing that, that little spot isn't really bothersome. I'll show you without the coat too, if you want to see different versions of this. So without the coat, this is what it looks like, which I think still looks really cool. You see the knee armor here. And like I was saying, like these are booty shorts, <laughs> but they fit very nicely. The whole thing fits very nicely. Besides like it being a little bit big up here. Oh, I lost my straps. Yeah. So besides it being a little bit big in the chest area on me, the rest of this all fits very nicely. And I just feel so, so cool. Somebody's in a very playful mood and he keeps standing in front of me and screaming. Meow. Hi. I like the tights and the detailing on those. I think it looks really good. The armor, like I said, is all very comfortable. The one, like the knee one does slide down a little bit, but if I, slide it up so it's above my knee instead of being on the knee then it stays up pretty fine. I'll give you a couple close-ups of details on this cosplay. What is it? Come here. Do you want your close up too? Yeah. Look. Pew. 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 Oh. So cute. So cute. Beautiful. Best cosplay chopper. Best cosplay cat. I 
think that everything I have to show off about this cosplay, I'm super, super happy with it. Like, I think it's better than I was expecting it to be. I feel like it fits very well. It looks really good. I'm just so happy with this. I'm so happy to be cosplaying from Fire Emblem Three Houses. Uh, it's one of my favorite games, like, ever. I'm so excited about it. If there's other characters from Fire Emblem Three Houses that you guys would like to see cosplay reviews on, please let me know because I have so many characters from this game that I would love to cosplay and I'd love to do some more videos on cosplays from this game, other characters, wigs, anything like that. I'm so excited for it. So please let me know. Also, if you have cosplayed someone from this game, let me know that too because I want to take pictures with all of the students and all of the teachers too and, and Rhea. Praise. <laughs> I'm gonna go hop up and take some photos now. Thank you guys for coming in for this video and let me know what you thought of this cosplay. I'm so happy with it and I hope you guys liked watching this as much as I was so excited to make it. If you'd like to see more cosplay videos be sure to subscribe and hit the like button down below. It helps me a lot. It helps my videos be seen. Be sure also to check out my channel. I have a whole playlist of other cosplay reviews and other cosplay related videos. I also have convention videos if that's something you're interested in watching too. And with that, I will see you in my next video. Bye!